Kenneth Murray is another Oklahoma Sooner that's going to end up going in the first round. The inside linebacker is very talented, and he made plays all over the field for this 2019 Sooner defense. And in today's video, what I want to do is I want to show you guys some of the things he does well, as some of the things he can improve on. Now, if you guys have watched his film or have watched any sort of highlights, you guys already know the guy's a tackling machine, he's a technician, and he's very good at what he does. So without talking more, let's just get right into it. You know, when I watched the LSU Oklahoma playoff game, LSU put up 63 points. And other than one linebacker, that defense struggled. But that one linebacker, Kenneth Murray, was all over the field. I want to show you guys what makes Murray so special. In this play, he is reading number 77, Shadik Charles, who is going to be an NFL offensive tackle. If Charles takes a step to his right, Kenneth Murray is going to simply fill around that. And if Charles steps to the left, Murray is going to fill around that. And that's great. That's what all linebackers would do. As 77 is going to take his step to his left, Murray does a great job reading 77, but that's not the part that makes him special. The part that makes him special is this next part, which is getting around 77 and baking the tackle on this running back and shutting the play down before it gets going. NFL GMs and coaches are going to love this ability of Murray. And here's another example of him doing the exact same thing. Think about this play for a second. As the play is going to begin, look at where the running back is looking right now. You have number 96 being blocked by your offensive lineman. You see this huge hole. You have an offensive lineman who has the proper angle on Kenneth Murray. You should be picking up 10 yards here. But no, when you have a superstar at linebacker like Kenneth Murray, you're easily able to beat blockers. Look at how badly he beats 56. 56 is looking back like, what the hell just happened? A superstar just beat you. That's what happened. And the best part of this play is the extension. Look at how long Kenneth Murray's arms are. And he makes the proper tackle. A lot of the times, we don't see linebackers doing this. And Murray does it. And I absolutely love it. When we talk about Murray, there's no question. He can fill every single gap. And the way he plays reminds me of Patrick Willis. When a running back sees a lane, it doesn't stay open for long because Murray is often blowing the play up. When I say Murray reminds me of Patrick Willis, they have a lot of similarities. Patrick Willis ran a 4-5-1, Murray ran a 4-5-2. Willis did 22 bench press reps, Murray did 21. Murray's 6-2, Willis is 6-1, Murray weighs 243 pounds, Willis weighs 240 pounds. And both guys are tackling monster. I want to move forward and talk a little bit about the speed and explosiveness that Murray has in his game because I think this is what separates him from every other linebacker in this draft class. When running backs get head starts on linebackers, like you're going to see with number two, a lot of the times they're going to win this, catch the ball and pick up yard. But Murray's different. Murray is a special player. And if you watch his film, the thing that, in my opinion, sticks out the most is how quick and how explosive he is. Just take this play, for example. Murray's not blitzing. He's not jumping the gap. He's not even lining up on the line of scrimmage. He's playing his natural linebacking position. But as soon as he sees what happens with this offensive tackle, he's going to jump the outside and make the play on the running back for a loss of downs. NFL teams are going to absolutely love this about Murray because he's such a smart player. He understands a lot of the things that linebackers need to do. Now, there's a lot of plays that showcase his speed, but this play here might be one of the best plays. Look how quickly he goes from the right tackle and he closes that down on this quarterback and he shuts this play down before it even starts. Think about all the new mobile quarterbacks in the NFL. All right, you got the Russell Wilsons, the Lamar Jacksons, the Kyler Murrays. You got all the quarterbacks that are coming this year. You need fast linebackers. To hear Whitehead is not going to cut it anymore. He's not fast enough. He's not quick enough. Today, linebackers have to cover, and that's what we're going to get into next. I want to get into Kenneth Murray's coverage ability because I think a lot of the times, people kind of undervalue what he brings. So let's just get right into it. As you guys see in this zone coverage play, Murray does a great job just reading the tight end and just jumping in front of it, and the quarterback doesn't even test his zone coverage. And when I say the quarterback doesn't test him, that happens a lot. You'll see in this play here, he's man-to-man -man on this slot wide receiver, and you're going to see that he does a good job staying with this receiver, and the co and the quarterback's going to end up throwing it to the other receiver. This happens all the time, and when it comes to zone coverage, I think Murray's super, super underrated because of a lot of the times, what he ends up doing is he'll play right in the middle of the defense, and when receivers are running across, 
a lot of the time that's kind of what he's shutting down he's shutting down that that player that's going to come across the field and he's able to do a good job in that aspect over the course of this season especially in this game against LSU, he was pretty much shutting the middle of the field down, right? Burrow did not get his quick throws in. Burrow a lot of the time had to throw it down the field. Of course, Burrow being Burrow was able to pick his poison. Murray is a very talented, very explosive, high awareness player, right? The way he plays the game is the way that I would want a linebacker on my team to play the game. He can line up at middle linebacker, outside linebacker, in the slot. He can line up on the edge and get after the quarterback. There's so much he can do. And I wanna wrap this video up by showing you guys this last play because this play right here shows you that Murray understands the game of football because a lot of players don't, but Murray does. And I wanna show you guys exactly what it is in this play that tells me he understands the game of football because as you see, he doesn't even make the play. So when I look at this play, what I see is I see what Murray sees, right? I understand what Murray is doing. You have a counter play coming and Murray essentially has the option of going to his left or to his right of this offensive guard that's pulling. Now, keep in mind, if Murray goes to the inside and this running back kicks it to the outside, the running back has four potential blockers and two or three guys that can really make the play. And this play honestly could be a touchdown or a 30, 40, 50 yard gain. Murray understands that and he wisely picks to go to the outside, which is the smart thing to do because even though the running back gets five to 10 yards, Murray knows it's not a touchdown and it's not 30, 40 or 50 yards. Murray sees what a lot of players don't see and that is why I love his game. And that is also why I think he is the best linebacker in this class. And I know a lot of people love Isaiah Simmons, as do I, but is Simmons a true linebacker? Is he a true middle linebacker? Could he play outside linebacker? Of course he can. But I don't know how great Simmons will be. A lot of people say he's going to be able to cover wide receivers. He'll be able to cover um, Tyreek Hill or whoever it may be. But that's far from the truth. Isaiah Simmons is a good player, but he hasn't really ever played a full 40, 50, 60 snaps on the inside. He hasn't taken true punishment from offensive tackles, offensive guards. So a lot of what Isaiah Simmons is, is still questionable. We don't know if he'll be able to do it. But in the NFL, I can guarantee you Simmons will not be playing safety. He will not be playing slot corner, at least not every single snap. So scheme fit's gonna be huge for Isaiah Simmons. As opposed to Kenneth Murray, you can put him in an outside linebacker, strong side linebacker. You can put him at your weak side linebacker, a middle linebacker, and a 34, a 43. He has so many different fits. He can play a 34 outside linebacker and, and uh, rush the passer, right? So there's so much Kenneth Murray can do. I think he's going to be the first linebacker taken. Of course, I, not including Isaiah Simmons. I do think Simmons will end up going higher. But true linebacker, Murray is the number one guy in this draft class. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Do you agree? Do you disagree? Please make sure to hit that thumbs up button. Smash that subscribe button. Now, see you guys next time with another film study.